Hey guys, Chris here with Phantom Buster. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at the data scraping crawler, Phantom, available on phantombuster.com, which will help us extract email addresses, phone numbers, and social media information from any site on the web. All right, let's get started. All right, so to get started using this Phantom, we wanna head on over to phantombuster.com and click on Browse Phantoms. This will take us to the Phantom web store, and at the top in the search bar, I'm just gonna type in data, and I'll see the data scraping crawler. Now, if I click on the title, I'll be taken to the data scraping crawler overview page, where I'll get an in-depth overview of how to use this Phantom, and if I click on the tutorial tab, I'll get a step-by-step -step breakdown in exactly how this Phantom works. For now, I'm gonna choose Use This Phantom. The first step is to tell the Phantom which websites to scrape. You have a number of options here. You can either use a URL of a single website or a URL of a Google Sheet or CSV file containing a list of website URLs. Make sure that the CSV or Google Sheets are publicly accessible and copy and paste the link into the input section. You can also choose to chain your other phantoms together. And in order to do that, just click on My Phantoms and choose the phantom that you wanna use. For now, I'm just gonna use a single URL and I've already typed up jasper.ai. So I'm gonna to go to the URL section, select all and copy and go back to my phantom and in the input section, right click and choose paste. There's also some additional spreadsheet settings, but everything looks good here for a single URL. So I'll go ahead and click save. Now here's where you tell the phantom which data you wanna scrape. You can do email addresses, phone numbers, or any of the social pages that they have listed on their website. For now, I'm just gonna choose email addresses and click save. Now here's where you choose the exit condition. So you need to pick at least one exit condition, and this is how far within the website you wanna scrape. You can also choose the maximum depth. So a depth of zero, the phantom will just open the home page. And if you choose a depth of one, the phantom will open the home page and all of the pages linked on it. You can also choose to stop when an email address is found, which is what I usually do. You can also choose when a phone number is found, when a social network is found, or after opening X number of pages. For now, everything looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Save. Here's where you choose the behavior of your phantom. So you can choose the number of milliseconds to wait before scraping the page, and you can also choose the number of websites to process per launch. This is if you're using a spreadsheet or CSV file as the input. If you leave this empty, the Phantom will attempt to process all of them. There's also some advanced settings, like scraping multiple results per website, or only visit web pages that start with a particular root URL. These settings are optional. You can also choose to rename the result.csv file that gets output. For now, everything looks good here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click Save. Now here's where you can choose your launch settings. You can choose to launch this manually or repeatedly, and here in the dropdown, there's a number of options to run this throughout the day. For now, I'm just gonna choose manually, and you can also choose your notification options, which I'm just gonna leave as none. There's also some advanced settings for setting up a proxy or different folder management options. For now, I'm gonna close this and go ahead and click Save. So now I'm at the data scraping crawler console page. If I wanna launch this phantom, all I need to do is click on launch. Now, depending on how many websites you're scraping, this may take some time. All right, so my data scraping crawler phantom has finished processing. If I wanna take a look at the results file, all I need to do is click on the results eye icon, and this will pop up all of the information that I've scraped from this website. As you can see, it found the email address that I was looking for. And so if I wanna download this spreadsheet, all I need to do is click on Download CSV and choose where I wanna save it on my hard drive. All right, so that was our data scraping crawler Phantom. To get started using this Phantom, all you need to do is go to phantombuster.com and create your account. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.